Vintage Podcast at Season 4, Episode 13, about to come to an end. Thank you, background listeners. If you just listen now, this is a podcast. And what do I mean by this is a podcast? You can go to Spreaker.com and listen to it in its entirety. You can go to YouTube, listen to it in its entirety. You can go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Deezer, Podcast Addict, and Him- the Himalaya app. You can have uh, Alexa pull it up. You can listen to this show in its entirety anytime you feel like it. Thank you for tuning in. You will get the lineup for Built in This Network and some black history information momentarily. Two fingers, one word. This your man H Rap B. Logging out until tomorrow. I'll be backing up on the number one Chief Rock show tomorrow. He holding it down. Holler at your boy. You already know how it's going down. done tons of fast do you feel it brings you closer to God I'm God you God see I can't answer that I said God means power hmm? power sure you feel power hmm? so what are the benefits of a fast huh what are the benefits of a fast Let me answer, ask me that on the... Yeah, that's wrong. Oh, okay. You don't fast to make bad people good people. You fast to create a positive energy force where other forces can gather. The word fast means to abstain from. So if you drinking water, you're on a water diet. That's not a fast. If you're drinking fruit juice, you're on a fruit juice diet. When you take nothing, when you talk about the story of Jesus and them, that's 40 days on just breathing. I never understood why Gandhi got so much play heat as long as he fasted for 13 days. I didn't realize that 13 days was nothing. You know, just breathing. And then everything in the body changes, you know. The universe takes over. And uh, the people who know more than anybody else is the Church of God in Christ. See, I always thought you had to go X amount of days taking juice to get ready for a (laughs) fast. And they go from eating dinner to a fast. And when they break their fast, they go right back to the pork chops and nothing happens to them. <laughs> but also it heals, it heals, it cleanses. See, once you go on a fast, the body starts consuming itself. So if you took a comb and combed your hair, what are the hairs going to come out in the comb, the weak ones or the strong ones? Mm. The weak ones. Okay, so if you have cancer, when you go on the fast, you start eating up all. That's how you heal. The day you was here, if you just assume when the universe invented this planet, it hadn't been back. So if it wasn't here then, then it's supposed to be here now. If it's here now, it wasn't made by the universe. No. This had a hell of a story the other day that the, the third cause of death in America, one is a uh, heart condition, cancer, and doctors making a mistake. Is that, is that kind of incredible, man? Mm-hmm. Is that part? <laughs> it's deep. Yeah, and so that's what fasting. What, what got you into fasting? A woman named Dr. Fulton, probably the number one faster on the planet. She's dead now, but uh, a black woman in Chicago. Yeah. Incredible. But you you fasted for, to, you know, until peace was attained, or there were different missions. So was prayer part of the ritual of fasting for you, or? I didn't. No, I just, I just said I wasn't going to eat no more solid food to the war in Vietnam. I didn't know it was going to take two and a half years. 
<laughs> I tell you, hurry up, get it over. <laughs> what was the first thing you ate? Huh? What was the first thing you oh, ate? I don't remember that. No? Mm -hmm. Because it's part of the sacrifice. No, I do so many fasts. Mm -hmm. I do so many fasts. As long as I've gone on water, it's 180 days of long on fruit juice. It's two and a half years. The longest I've gone on nothing is like uh, three weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you start seeing things happen. You know. Like what? If I'm in this building here and there's a circuit that's bad, mm -hmm. it might not get the building on fire for 30 years. But to protect me, it blows it out immediately. Mm -hmm. Okay, just poof, everything go. Mm -hmm. That's that's fast. That's the universe. Because you're now you're in sync with a different level of energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but are you know so? But so it's very simple ways to tap into that energy. Huh? There's it's uh, there are simple ways to tap into that energy, that spiritual power. Yeah. But fasting is the, is the way. I'm sure other cultures got different other prayers to do. And so when you know what I know, I knew a woman named Mother Gibson, um, Chicago. If you went to the Hilton Hotel today and she's still alive and killed everybody in here, if I called her for the police, you'd never do a day in jail, you know. Now, brother, that's good to use it that way or not. I would assume it's not, you know. But those people who do that, they can't charge you. Because that means Queen Elizabeth could afford you, but poor folks couldn't. But the rich folks will give. She kept a half a billion, million dollars under her bed. Because the people that have it. Um, I carried John Lennon by there when the government wouldn't let him in the, the country. And she said, Mother, take care of it. But see, you also don't understand how they talk. She said, yeah, Mother, take care of it, but you make sure you want to live here? She said, yes, because if you come here, you never be able to leave. Now, I didn't know she was talking about he'd be killed. Mm. But see, that's they talk, you know. And uh, But at the more you fast, you pick up other things. I remember me and John Lennon got real good friends. I said, uh, who are you? Do you know who you are? I asked him. He says, no, but why did you ask a poor little ignorant redneck cracker like you out of that part of Britain ain't never made it big? How'd you do it? He said, that whole thing was CIA and British intelligence. He said, all our songs was to turn white children into drugs. He said, you know how high you got to be to see a yellow submarine? Hey Jude, that's about Harold. Mm. What's the thing, LS something? And mm -hmm. you know, y'all know the word. L in the sky with diamonds. Yeah, that's LSD. Spells LSD. Mm -hmm. And when they came over here for the Ed Sullivan show, and them two hundred thousand white women was waiting to cheer, mm -hmm. all that was a trick. Mm -hmm. That was a game, you know. And and then as he spent money to do things. His thing changed. That's why the rest of them stayed the same. But his thing changed. I mean, he was... His consciousness. Oh, oh Jesus. Did it ever... Mm -hmm. oh, talk, yeah. talk about him. I mean, I know you... Huh? Talk about him. I know you helped him. You spent a lot of time together. No, he... I, I, I don't listen to music. No. I don't want, I want to hear blues for... about some negative shit. My baby done left me up. 12 years old, ain't even, ain't even had sex, and I'm singing about negative stuff, mm -hmm. you know. How'd you learn your ABCs? You kept repeating it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so somebody was calling me that I knew and trusted, and they said, man, John and Yoko Lennon is in Amsterdam, drugged out in a cave. I didn't know caves is like palaces. Mm -hmm. So I went over and put them on formula, in 24 hours it was clean. Now, I didn't know till 10 years later when a professor at uh, 
San Diego State had the rights from Yoko to do a, a book on his tapes. And he called me, he said, man, I'm reading the, these tapes. And, and Yoko and John said, when you, uh, when you came to Amsterdam and cleaned them out, they never went back into drugs again. I said, I didn't know that. I thought they had, you know. And then the last time somebody called me, if you punch up uh, uh, the last book that came out two years ago called the, uh, the Gospel According to the Beatles, and so when this guy buy the tapes, not Lennon, been dead 10 years, he said, you know, we're looking through these tapes. And there's an interview somebody was doing with him and asked him when did he, uh, <clears throat> well, how did he get the idea to write uh, Imagine? He said, I didn't. Dick Gregory wrote it. So you see it in there. Okay, I see the book. You know, um, and Steve the, Turner. Just just punch in there the, 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 what John Lennon said about Dick Gregory mm-hmm. and, the, uh, and Imagine. Mm-hmm. So when the white boy told me that, I said, well, you want to send a plane by the interview? You don't need to send a plane by. If you don't, if you don't believe that white boy, well, I'm going to waste my time thinking you're going to believe me. If he said it, then I'm, I'm not going to talk to you. So then they was getting ready to write it, and he said, well, just can I ask you a question? I said, you a cat in the black churches and, and let him listen to the, the humming and the, the vibrations and the, and the sounds. And then we wrote it. And I didn't even know it's the number one selling record in the history of the planet. We sit here now, it sells 2.5 million records a day. So he said, about royalty, what royalty? That's my friend. Hmm? My mama don't get no royalties for cooking or, or giving me titty milk. You know, that's a game. Why do you think he died? Huh? Why do you think he... He was killed by the government. The next day at noon, he was going to hold a press conference and, and give 10% of all his money to the peace movement. And at that time, his money was worth like, like 200 million, so now he's worth billions. Oh, I found it. Um, so the quote is, Dick Gregory gave Yoko and me a little kind of prayer book, a little kind of prayer book. And it is in the Christian idiom, but you can apply it anywhere. There's a concept of positive prayer. If you want to get a car, get the car keys. Get the keys, yeah. Imagine is saying that. If you can imagine a world of peace with no denominations of religion, not without religion, but without this, my God is bigger than your God thing, then it can be true. It's just like planting corn. <laughs> if you want some corn, you plant a seed. Hmm? Mad Knox Music. Be all the Builders Network for the strong, strong, not the weak. weak. And this is our our weekly lineup. On Monday, Monday, number one one chief chief rocker, Jersey Jersey Burn, brings you that recap recap entertainment show. 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 On Tuesday, Tuesday, the attack is on on hip hop throwback with the crown hold, hold. DJ Mad Mad Knox. Knox. Followed by, followed by the end of the, the big the show, show with Shot Town's finest, A Track B. On Wednesday, Wednesday the brothers, brothers gonna work it out. I'm talking about the brothers of the number one chief rapper, Jersey Burn, and A Track B. On Thursday, the theory of the culture show. Straight talk, no chaser, with Cheers Roundtree and DJ Mad Knox. Followed by the two step king, Jersey finest, DJ DJ Dean. Opens up his groove house. And on Friday, the crown holder, DJ Mad Knox, get your weekend right with the bill for this Friday mix. Network for the strong, not the weak.